There's a cool festival happening at Cherry Street Pier. It's called Tiny Room for Elephants, and it features 43 local artists who are showcasing the works they collectively created over the past few weeks. Our photojournalist Derek Cheston went behind the scenes to show us how this incredible project came to life. Right now I'm sculpting all the lines to give like as much texture I can to the lizard because lizards have that texture. I wanted to kind of marry the two. So um, elephants are very knowledgeable creatures and they retain a lot of knowledge. So um, knowledge of self is a hip hop element. Tiny Room really originated from the desire to document the culture, the desire to show the behind the scenes process of creating art, and also the camaraderie that happens when you put all of these elephant sized personalities into one room. My jam is painting people's portraits. Philadelphia is teeming with culture and creativity, but it's very clicky. And our desire is to break up those art clicks and force everyone into a room together to work, but also introduce new folks to the public. So every time I do a color, I kind of like got to trim it up so it's clean. For when I come to this process, makes it a lot easier, way less clean up. Expressive line. Um, I use a lot of graffiti, tool making, uh, markers, paints, and aerosol. I've been playing uh, competitive pinball in Brooklyn for about four years now. And it was sort of a reason to say, you know what, buy an old machine, redo the art, bring it to Tiny Room, and let people play each other to win art. We focus on all creative mediums. This year, yes, we have a lot of visual artists that are painting, but we also have some visual artists that are creating rugs. I think that when people come here, they're gonna see the love and the grit, the hours that these artists have put into it. I want people to look at my piece and get a sense of culture, not just a piece of art. I want them to be able to be like, there's something behind this deeper than just a drawing on a wall. Even when we say art and even when we say creator, we really purposely bring in DJs and producers to create a live soundtrack for the artist. So I think that my message kind of follows suit with Tiny Room and that is whatever you want to do, do it as much as possible, do it as often as possible, and do it until it's something that that's all you're doing. I can't even describe what it means because being asked to be a part of this, considering everything's like muralist type art is awesome because I'm the only one doing this and to be accepted like I'm part of everyone else is kind of crazy to me. It's almost like this creative social experiment where and how we place the artists throughout the festival to kind of just see how everyone works and plays together. So a lot of music, a lot of celebration, a lot of dancing. Oh, she had me at a lot of dancing. Y'all know I love to dance. You can see these incredible works of art, enjoy live performances, and much more all weekend long. Again, that's at Cherry Street Pier. And if you want a list of events and ticket information, just head over to the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app.